Jefferson to inbound. Nine on the shot clock, 35 on the game clock. Lob to Sill, draws all kinds of defenders. And this will be a shooting foul for Sylvia. Candace Parker cannot believe it. The defense just converged around fouls. And Chicago has been really effective in doing that and bringing multiple bodies to fouls, even though that's what she's used to seeing. But that time, she was tied up. Still at the free throw line. She's two of two, now three of three. 12.7 rebounds for Sylvia Fowles. Now 13 after that made free throw. That brings the lead to three. And we've seen Chicago hit a late clutch three. The game in Chicago a week and a half ago ended with Courtney Vandersloot hitting one at the buzzer. So that makes it a four-point game. Just seven points have separated these two teams on two occasions. Not surprising to see it happen again. And the Lynx lost the first meeting by four here at Target Center, then by three in Chicago. Copper, the miss, second chance. Parker hits that one. Back to a one-point game after the three-pointer by Candace Parker. She has struggled from the floor this entire afternoon. She's, that was her third three today. She has not shot it well, but again, not surprising again to see her do it at such a big moment. The Lynx have forced her into a perimeter shooter, and she's shooting 38% from there this season, but not typically her go-to. And she just gets it to fall with 15 seconds left. She's a future Hall of Famer doing what her team needs to win. And on that play that Candace Parker hit the three, Allie Quigley got an offensive rebound and kicked it out to Parker in one motion. That was impressive. And yeah, you said Parker struggled throughout this game, and she did. But then she hits the most clutch shots at the most clutch times. 17 second chance points for Chicago in this game after the three by Parker. Especially coming off that game against Las Vegas in which the Minnesota Lynx dominated 15 to one offensive rebound. Chicago has made that a way for them to get back into this game when their shot wasn't falling. Lynx up by one, McBride trying to out dribble Chicago. She got a couple seconds out of it. Kayla McBride will go to the free throw line for Minnesota, and that is the player that you want at the free throw line, shooting 89% this season. That's what makes McBride so valuable in these moments, is that she wants the ball, she wants to get to the free throw line. Trying to take a one-point lead to a three-point lead, with 12.4 to go. Good on the first, McBride's three of three from the line this afternoon. 14 points after scoring in single digits for three consecutive games. It is a three-point game. James Wade calls a timeout. Chicago will have two timeouts remaining after this. The Lynx still have one timeout. So the three-point lead, Chicago advances the basketball and needs a three to tie. And Chicago is a team that has a lot going for it. They have a lot of options to be able to look for at this point, especially along the perimeter, and they have a lot of time to get the shot that they yeah. want. And that's what they're going to be talking over in this timeout. You look at the number of three-point threats that they have, the fact that Candace Parker now even can knock them down, as we've been seeing this season. And then her hitting one late right here, you have proper big who did it against the Lynx in heartbreaking, uh, heartbreaking fashion. And then quickly, too, there is just an endless number that's really going to be difficult for the Lynx to try and strategize against. But they have to be thinking only about the perimeter, I think. Well, here, and here's something. So Minnesota has a foul to give. But down three, do you want to use that right away and then foul Chicago? Put him at the line. Don't give him a chance to hit a three-pointer. Do not foul a three-point shooter. But if you're Minnesota, do you employ, employ that strategy? Foul Chicago immediately when you after you have your foul to give but do not allow them a, a three-point shot that's why cheryl reeve is good at what <laughs> she's doing but no you know, pick up a very good point marty about the options that minnesota has here and you're right they might try to do something a little bit off script because of the threats that chicago has 12.4 to go the Lynx have the one foul to give chicago has Basically, every player on this court right now is a three-point shooter. Mieseman, 
gets it in to Parker. Minnesota does not follow. Quigley gets off a three. The miss. Knocked out of bounds. Chicago ball. And Kayla McBride down on the court. Down on her knees. Chicago calls a timeout. James Wade. McBride still has not gotten up. She got one foot on the floor, one knee, and now slowly does. And she's hit in the face, either the nose or the mouth. We're going to see what happened here. Well, McBride and ran into fouls and ran into her hard. It's tough to see a player who is so good in these moments with her shot making ability, her free throw ability as well. You don't want to be having her absent on the floor, even from a defensive perspective as well. So we'll see if she's able to get this in a place where she can get back out. Yeah, onto the court. we think so much about Kayla McBride and her offensive abilities. She is a very good defender. So to have her not on the court right now, well, the links bring in. Maybe their best defender overall in Bridget Carlton. Foul to give for Minnesota. They did not foul in the last possession. Just relied on good defense. What will they do here? 5.9 to go. A three-point Lynx lead. Vandersloot gets it back. Quigley, the deep three. It's off the rim. Quigley got a look. It was a deep one, but she had a clear shot and then brings it home. Allie Quigley, you would take that shot if you are Chicago all the time. Her depth is so good in the WNBA. So the fact that she had that good of a look, couldn't knock it down, is certainly a sigh of relief for Minnesota. But from start to finish, they weathered every challenge that Chicago threw at them. And this is another significant step, Marnie, in this team, taking that next step forward and finding its groove, trying to get into the playoff hunt. The Lynx just beat the two best teams in the WNBA on consecutive games. The Aces on Sunday, and they got the Sky this afternoon by three. More coverage from Target Center after this.